Our next project is going to be block design. We're going to create a series of blocks and then work on assembling them in an assembly file. So we're going to be dealing with multiple parts here. Our first one part is a two by two inch cube with a one inch circular hole that goes through that's centered. So I'm going to come to my on shape account. I'm going to press create and then create a new document. I'm going to label my document block design. I'm going to create my uh, sketch. I'm going to place that sketch on my front plane. I'm going to kick the, click on the front orientation cube. This centers my drawing. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a two inch by two inch square. Now I'm going to extrude this square two inches. Green check mark to finish my extrusion. Gain perspective on my orientation cube. And the next thing I need to do is I need to put that hole in the center. So I'm going to click on my sketch button on that front face of the cube, not the plane, but the cube itself. I'm going to lay down a sketch, orientate myself again, and draw a one inch circle using that circle tool. Now, it needs to be centered, so I need to come up to my dimension tool. Clicking on that, and then I'm going to click on my uh, center point of my circle and the right-sided line, and I'm going to dimension it one inch from the right. I'm going to click on my center point and my top line, and I'm going to center it one inch uh, vertically. Now, I'm going to click on my extrusion button. Again, that face is selected. And we can see right now that the add feature in the extrusion is selected. I want to choose the remove, which will change the direction of the extrusion, and uh, delete the material instead of add on, adding on to it. I'm going to select two inches in length, my green check mark to finish. And we can notice I have that first two by two by two inch cube with a one inch circular hole.